Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Live. Welcome to Deathwish HQ. And as you can see behind me, our mug collection. Um, last week, if any of you guys tuned in, I kind of walked down memory lane with our mug collection with Sophia. And a lot of you guys that were tuning in were like, it looks terrible and we should work on organizing it and making it better. And I agree with you. So today, you all are going to help me organize this. Basically, a resounding way to organize it that you guys were talking about last week was, you know, basically from release schedule, from the beginning of our mugs to the end of our mugs. So we're going to try to keep it in line like that. Although I'll keep them in groups, you know, like uh, Valhalla, obviously, will all be together and something like that. Before I get started, I want to tell you guys a couple things. First of all, tomorrow, make sure you sign up for our weekly Thursday newsletter because we've got a really great deal, speaking of Bahala Java, coming out with some of our core Bahala Java products from 2020, which is really exciting. And um, also, we are constantly getting into new stores all around the country. Obviously, you can go to deathwishcoffee.com and buy our coffee and our merchandise. You can also pick it up on Amazon if you'd like. But we're trying so hard to be in stores near you. And if you guys don't know, you can go right to deathwishcoffee.com. And right at the top is a store like lo locator. Store locator. Or you can go right here, deathwishcoffee.com slash store locator. Type in your zip code and it'll tell you what stores carry Deathwish near you and what products are there. We just got into Weiss stores, about 120 different Weiss stores. So if you're in Pennsylvania, Maryland, um, I think lower New York, too, and New Jersey has some Weiss stores where you're going to start seeing us on shelves in there. So that's pretty exciting. Also, before we jump into the mugs, um, we started a brand new thing here at Death Wish. Uh, basically, we want to hear your story. We want to hear what your journey was like before you found the best coffee in the world, which I hope is Death Wish Coffee, and what, you know... It, has your coffee habits changed? Have your hobbies, have your job in, increased because of, you know, you drink Deathwish every day? Like, what is your Deathwish story? And we're looking for that. All you have to do is post about it on social media, and you can use the hashtag, never tired. Use that hashtag so we can see it, and you can put it on Instagram with a photo, or film yourself on Facebook and, and, and show a video of us, or just, you know, a tweet, just a text tweet, whatever. Use that hashtag, never tired. Let us know what your death wish story is. And tell us what you would tell to somebody who thinks they've tried every coffee under the sun and they're immune to caffeine and they've never had death wish. What would you say to them? How would you convince them to try a cup of death wish coffee? So we got all that out of the way. And let's jump into the mugs because I'm excited. I know you guys are excited too. I am looking at the comments. Hello to everybody on Facebook. Hello to everybody on Twitch and YouTube as well. And uh, um, I'm hopefully going to be, if you guys have any questions about the mugs or questions about what I'm talking about, like I'll hopefully be able to answer that as I see the comments flying by my face right now. As you can see on top here, all this stuff at the top of the case, on top of the case, isn't really mug related, but it is related to the history of Deathwish. You can see over here our four honor bags. Um, we partnered with Ubisoft a couple years ago when they came out with that, that game for honor and we released spe specific bags of coffee on that. So we got those up there. We have our, our incredible artist series that we came out with that uh, you got a bag of coffee with this on it. This was designed by an incredible artist, Jeremy Fish, and that's with the tin that it came with. Some of our uh, incredible clean canteens. Our partnership with Albany Distilling and Vodka as well. And, uh, you know, stress balls, all that type of stuff. It's really cool. Again, it's just kind of like a, a trophy case of everything that we've done here at Death Wish and things that we enjoy and, you know, like I said, our history. One thing that I'm going to put on there, and it was funny because it almost got thrown away, is this. Now, I don't know how many of you guys out there have this. It's on our website right now. It's our Stanley Thermos. Stanley Thermos is the best in thermoses. Literally, I've had a Stanley Thermos forever before even having this, and I have this one, and I'll probably never buy another thermos again because you never need to. Now, this almost got thrown away because look at it. It's, like, completely dented. You know, it's all scuffed up and everything. And, like, and when we were unpacking, a couple people who were new to the company was like, what is this piece of garbage? Well, it's a trophy. And for those of you who don't know, when we released the Stanley Thermos, again, which is available on the website right now, um, Dustin and I wanted to put this through the ringer and see, is it really 
does it really hold up? Is it the world's strongest thermos? Because we only wanted the world's strongest thermos to hold the world's strongest coffee. We actually made a video, and here's that. The new Death Wish Coffee Stanley Thermos. Just how strong is it? Will it survive a fall? A fall from up high? How about being run over? Can it withstand 1,500 pounds of coffee? Can it withstand a swing from the war club? The new Death Wish Coffee Stanley Thermos. Strong enough to contain the world's strongest coffee. So for real, that's this one right here. It still pours coffee, still works, and it's a trophy and a testament to just how strong this is. This is available on the website right now. I 100% say you should pick one up. Um, and that's gonna go right on top. So now let's get to the mugs. We've made a lot of mugs here at Death Wish Coffee, and as you can see in this case, most of these are Death Wish mugs. Some of them are collaborator mugs collaboration mugs that we've done with other companies and other brands um, that also are in this case. Some mugs are just historical reference and we'll get to some of those as well. Um, but I got to start where it all began. In 2012 in Saratoga Springs, where I'm at right now where our new headquarters is, Mike Brown came up with the idea of Death Wish Coffee and he started selling the world's strongest coffee out of the basement of Saratoga Coffee Traders. Him and John, when they first started the company, they realized in around 2013 well, we're selling coffee, we should probably make a mug to go with that coffee, right? So, a lot of people have never seen this. Some of you out there in, in mug life definitely have this, which is crazy, but this is the first ever Death Wish Coffee mug. You can see it's just a, just a decal stamp right on there, the world's strongest coffee. It's a stainless steel mug. I don't even know, they might have made a, a hundred of these, a couple hundred of these. This was basically just proof positive to be like, I wonder if people will buy a mug while they buy coffee. Well, uh-huh. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. So this is the first mug ever. Well, obviously, I'm going to put that right on top, right back there. And um, But then we actually wanted to start making what you can see, these amazing hand-thrown mugs. And we partnered with this small company called Deneen Pottery, who's made all our mugs ever since. In fact, I'm gonna put this in the mug case later, but I have this right here, this mug right here, that says the Peabody Memphis on it. This was the first ever mug that we got from Deneen as basically like a proof of what they do. This was like the example, like, hey, we could make this for you. This is, this is, our, this is the quality of our work. And this was the mug that they sent us. So we still have this. So this is part of our history and part of our journey, even though it doesn't say Death Wish Coffee on it. But we kept that because I even got a note in there. First sample from Deneen. And uh, so I'll put that in the case in a little bit. But then as we go, now I got a cheat sheet here too. I'm not kidding. If you guys are not um, part of the official Death Wish Coffee Company community page on Facebook, get on it. Because not only is it a great community of almost 11,000 people now, which is crazy, but they have photo albums of all of our mugs in you know, succession from beginning to end, and that, that at least helped me to realize where all these mugs are supposed to go. It's crazy. So, and here's the story, too. Speaking of our incredible community, we never had a full collection of mugs at Death Wish. We never had this, this museum-quality collection, and this is all thanks to a lot of you out there, especially Gail Dunmire, who worked with, you know, finding all of these mugs through various people who had doubles or her own collection and gifted us this incredible collection. So we have it, which is amazing. So when people can come in and learn about Death Wish, they can see our, our mug collection. So before we started working with Deneen, after that stainless steel mug, we actually made this mug. It says deathwishcoffee.com. You know, that's good marketing right there. Got our, our, uh, our website right on it with the world's strongest coffee. That is such an unfortunate font. Ugh, it's like, it's like one of those like creepy horror fonts, you know? Like, but I mean, it's cool. This was, 
This was obviously much more of like a diner type mug. Um, second mug we ever came out with. Then as a promotional thing, now this is something that's very sought after. As a promotional piece, like was, as the company was just starting, we made this little espresso mug with a, a cup and saucer. Look at that. Deathwish Coffee Company right on that. Coveted by collectors. I've always wanted one myself. Um, spoiler, I, I, I kind of, I finally got one, which was, which was really rad. Thanks to one of you out there. But, um, but it, these are very, very hard to find. I don't, I don't even know how many were made. It was a one-time thing. I, I mean, I think we should do another espresso cup. I think that's, that's, that's kind of cool. It's like a, a nice little, nice little thing, right? Um, so that's going to go up here as well. Now, as we go, I'm probably going to have to keep moving stuff around because I'm not even sure. We're going to figure this out as we go and what shelves should, be, should have what on. We got those up there. So now, I believe we're finally into Deneen mugs. Now, the first mug that we ever did with Deneen, outside of a couple test runs, which I think Mike Brown probably has at home, um, was this mug right here. The red and black camper, as it's called, and this one on the bottom, it's got a stamp 2014. Now we released this mug along with a matching shot glass. Actually, we released the shot glasses a little bit after the fact, but um, it does. It is the matching set right there, which is which is pretty exciting. And this was the first real mug release we did as a company, only two years into the company. And what's crazy about that mug is we've released it twice since then. You might think, why do we have three versions of this mug in this case? Well, this one on the bottom is 2015, and this one is 2016. So we released this style in three different times. Now this is before we were even numbering mugs, and I'm not sure how many were made, um, but oh, I wanted to add that, 4A2 graphics. Yo, that's my art up there. I'm guessing that is that in the back right there. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm gonna put those mugs right back here. All right, moving right along. Now, we're gonna have to make room for Bahala Job, which I think should maybe go on this top shelf too. So let's take some of these. Because the next mug that we released actually was a Valhalla Java mug. Now, if you guys don't know, and I don't know why you wouldn't know, but we make Valhalla Java in um, collaboration with Zach Wild, who is a guitarist and singer of Black Label Society, and also Ozzy Osbourne's guitarist, Zach Sabbath, and, I mean, just one of the greatest guitarists of all time. He's a crazy guy, and he loves his coffee, and he loves his Valhalla Java. So not only are we making his coffee, but we all obviously make his mugs. So the first Valhalla Java mug that we ever made with Zach was, I believe, if I can find it, let's see, this is where it's going to take, aha, yep, 2014, the Odin Force Blend mug, now that's Odin sitting on his throne with his ravens and his wolves, super rad, super awesome. And um, a favorite of mug collectors out there, too. This was uh, the 2014 Valhalla Java mug. So it wasn't numbered, but it's still a rarity. It was before we were making lots of them. So we'll put that up here, because I think this is where we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna designate the other side on the top as the Valhalla Java. It's already got a couple of Valhalla Java mugs up there. Now, the other really hard to find Valhalla Java mug, which it's hard to find in here, too, it's somewhere. Where is it? Aha! It's over here. I've got a table over here of, of some extra mugs, too, just to make, give me some space. This is the first sandblasted mug we made. Now, it's the same design as you saw on that other one, but this one was also 2014, and this one is super, super, super rare. Super rare. That one's going up there. 
on the Valhalla Java Shelf, moving right along. One of the first collaborations we did, um, which I will be putting in a collaboration, maybe down here, which would be cool. Let me actually pull this down a little bit so you can see the, the bottom shelf, too. There we go. There we go. It's an okay frame. Um, one of the first collaborations we did was this mug, this little red pot belly mug. This was with Ricky's Ride. Now, Ricky, if you don't know, is Ricky Rackman from uh, Headbangers Ball and NASCAR Radio and his podcast now. But he does a, a charity ride every year on his motorcycles. He's doing it right now. And this is the first time we ever collaborated with him in 2014. And the bottom is signed in the clay by Ricky, Ricky's Ride, which is pretty cool. So that was one of our first ever collaboration mugs we ever did. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep you guys entertained. I'm trying to keep going here, but I, I just I have to I have to keep looking at my cheat sheet where I don't really know where what mug is what here. Um, and as I'm watching your uh, your um, questions, um, is this going to be a 12 part series? <laughs> I'm going to try to do all this right now, Brian. I really am. So the next mug on our list actually is a twofer. This is a very rare mug because it was a set. And I keep saying, man, we should do this again because this was so cool. Matt Black, belly mug, just like that Ricky's ride, but this was just a straight death wish, but it came with this sugar bowl. Look at that. All Matt Black, beautiful sugar bowl with the, with the top. I've always wanted one of these. These are incredibly hard to find. I can't believe that we have one in HQ, but it's so rad that we do. So I will put that up on top too. All right. Now, the first ever Christmas mug, which should probably start on a shelf. We will start Christmas down here on this shelf. Um, this is the first ever, we do a lot of holiday type mugs, and this is the first ever Christmas mug we did. This is actually designed by Niles Deneen at Deneen Pottery. And if you guys have been tuning in on Monday for our Monday Refueled Lives, um, where we go and look at some of our favorite episodes of the podcast from Podcast Past. Uh, this coming Monday, I'm going to do a refuel with Niles, all about mugs and the creation of mugs and, and all that. So it, like, if you guys want to tune in for that, that was a really fun when he came to our old HQ and I got to meet him and just pick his brain about creating mugs. It was awesome. So that was our first ever holiday theme Death Wish mug. Put that on this show. All these things are around. Try desperately to keep this going. Now that is crazy because that that red mug that I just showed you actually it has a variant. It has a gray and black variant, and we don't own that. So any of you guys out there, you guys you guys have a really cool mug if you own that. Now the next one's another set that we did. One of my favorites, super super rare again. Also came with a shot glass. This is our black-footed um, uh, mug with the gray glaze and a little shot glass there. I believe this was also, yep, 2014, hand-thrown Deneen Pottery. Super rad. Super cool. I'll put that on the top shelf as we move right along. Let me know in those comments. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Let me know what your favorite mug is. Um, I see a lot of you guys liking the colors. Let us know what you think the next color mug we should do. Or give us mug ideas. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you guys want in a mug. What do you guys want in a mug? Okay. Um, the first ever mug that we did for Valentine's Day. I think it's Valentine's Day. Is it Valentine's Day? Yeah. Is this mug which was our 2015 Valentine's Day mug with Cupid on it. Now I gotta find it, it's in here, it's somewhere. Ha, it's right next to me, this guy. That was our first Valentine's Day release in 2015. Super rad, 3,500, or no, 350 mugs. This is 315 out of 350, that's it. Now we do runs of like 5,000. And if you guys are getting mug envious, 
We have a mug release coming up really soon. We just released the golden ticket, so that means the real release is coming. And I'll show you guys that golden ticket really, really, really soon. So this one, hmm, let's see, we'll put that, this one on this shelf. We'll try to keep, we'll try to keep, because we've done a lot of holiday theme mugs, so let's try to keep these mugs kind of like in holiday. We'll try, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. What video game is this? This, everybody, is called a joke. Thanks, Mike, for your joke. And welcome to everybody just joining on Facebook, on Twitch, and on YouTube as we go through our mug collection here at Deathwish HQ. And I'm going to be putting it all up. Um, I like this. Another, uh, another comment from Twitch saying, we all need to do a tricolor orange, white, and green for St. Patrick's Day. Deneen is getting better and better about their color schemes and the glazes. I don't know if they've ever done a tri-color, but that's a great, great idea. And I think, that's a, I think that's a really good idea. We should definitely try to do that. All right, moving right along. Another Death Wish mug that I don't know if we have in here was the black, but I missed one. So, so ah, ah, okay. So we came out with this called the Commuter. The Black Commuter. This was 2016. That's a Death Wish. That's a Death Wish original. And the same year, we did this guy as Valhalla, the Shield logo. I love that Valhalla Java Odin Force Blend Shield. Super rad. So they kind of the same mug, just did two different designs. So one will go up here. One will go over here. I did miss an old school Death Wish mug. That is, again, is incredibly rare. I'm, that's why I missed it. It's like, I don't even know how many of these were made. Saucer with the logo. Deathwish black mug, just like the, the black mug that you saw. The white interior. I've only seen a couple of these in the wild. I think I, I know of maybe like two employees that even own this. Uh, by the way, this entire collection is Mike Brown's, you know, so like he owns all of them, obviously, because of course he should. Um, so we'll put that up here as well. What else do we got? Man, moving right along. So I got to make a, I got to make a case for one-off mugs, mugs that like maybe we never sold or we only sold like a few of. So we'll have to figure out where those go. But I'll show you two that were made specifically, basically for employees. First one ever is called Mount Deathmore. It says it right on, that, right on there. And if you can see, right there, that's Mike Brown, John Swedish, Kane, Taya, Eric, and Wayne. And that was it. That was all that worked at the company when this mug was made. And I think there's maybe 50 in existence, maybe 100. Um, so let's put that mug on the bottom over here as we keep going. And then um, another one that we were gifted as a gift from Mike Brown for Christmas one year, a couple of years back, and I've seen you guys ask for it, is the Chalice. This is probably the rarest mug because there's, there's definitely only 50 of these ever made. Um, they were only for employees, and that's this guy right here. Um, and I cherish mine. It used to be the mug that I would drink uh, out of when I'd watch Game of Thrones until Game of Thrones ended. Um, but I'm actually on that mug um, in there. But that's uh, 12 of us, which is, which is super rad. And like I said, it was, it was a surprise. It was an amazing gift from Mike and John for us for Christmas. It was, it was absolutely amazing. So got that in the case as well. All righty, so let's just, let's just dive in, right? Let's just get this, let's just get this done, right? So why don't we get all the Valhalla's done? I've shown you a couple already. This guy, this guy was 2017, that old Valhalla Java logo with the, the, the skull Viking. I love that, and the lava. There's flecks of like gold in this lava. It's so awesome, so cool, one of my favorites. Put that up here. 
this. That same design, but on this sandblasted mug. Isn't that great? Now this came out in 2017. And um, this was really special because we did some special stuff with this, with this mug as well. And I'll show you. We love supporting charities, especially St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Um, it is also one of the charities that Zach Wilde really loves to support as well. So that mug we did a re-release of, that sandblasted mug, and we did this collector's box that the mug came in along with some Bahala Java merchandise and the entire thing, the, uh, the proceeds went to benefit St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I don't remember the exact end number, but I, I want to say it was upwards of $50,000 that you guys all helped us raise by buying these limited. We only did 100 of these. And as you can see, because this is Mike's collection, Mike bought the very first one. And he's got number one because and he made sure of it. He was like, I'm going to buy one and I want to make sure that I get the number one because that's, that's mine. So if anybody's ever asked where that number one is, it's in Mike Brown's collection. Because of course it is. We'll put that in here too. So I'm trying to find and see if there's any other... Oh, okay. Here's a, here's a good Bahala Java one. Speaking of those shot glasses, we came out with a Bahala Java with that shield logo and the Skull Viking all in one with the moon and everything, matte black, and then the matching shot glass. How cool is that? How cool is that? That's one of the coolest ever. That's gotta go up on top here too. Thanks for sticking around with me, guys. I felt like, you know, this would be a fun little thing to do. You guys can tune in and tune out, and that we can have some fun. As I try desperately to make some sense of all of these mugs. There's so many, everybody. There's just so many. So I'm trying to find out and see if I, I can find any other Bahala Java mugs in here, because I know there's got to be a couple more. Oh, I see one. Hi, Kate. It's, it, there's sound on Facebook. Well, you can say hello. Oh my gosh. Um, here's another sandblasted one with that awesome lava, the gold flecks inside and all that. This was, what year was this? 2018, it actually says number two. This was the second run of these, which is pretty rad. A lot of stuff. It's, going through memory lane is crazy. Um, Here's an older Death Wish mug that we did with a coaster set. I believe this was for Valentine's Day, I think. Yeah, do we still have the coaster? I, the coaster I, I might be in the kitchen. I'm not sure. But we definitely still have that guy. The coaster had that same one as well. There it is. There's that coaster. There's nothing more uncomfortable than putting a ceramic mug on a ceramic coaster. It's like nails and chalkboard stop it. Um, <laughs> I did think it was a good idea, but the execution might have not been it. Put that up here for now and we'll yeah, we're move still, some of these around. Tell the story on the espresso cup. On this guy? Yeah. I didn't know the full story. What's the full story? So the full story is, during the time uh, when we used to do freebies, mm -hmm. we decided that we were going to do an espresso cup freebie. Okay. Most people didn't know what an espresso cup is, so they thought they were getting full mugs. Oh, so this little no. guy showed up, people were like, is this a joke? Like, yeah, I mean, it was cute. It came with a little saucer. Yeah, yeah, it came with a saucer. It's pretty rad. Yeah, I mean, it's really cute. It's a little, little tiny death or sign. But, um... Yeah, that was very funny when people were like thought they were getting full, full size mugs. Pretty crazy. Oh man, these two are crazy. These are so oh, I know. This right? one would get water in it, so you would like wash it, and then there'd be the water all on the handle or something. It was really weird. Starting a new collection here on one of the shelves is going to be um, what we've done for Fourth of July or President's Day around that time. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that this year because. You know, the pandemic um, unfortunately shut down a lot of businesses, including Deneen. So we weren't able to come out with one this year. But in years past, we've come out with the the dead George Washington, which is one of my favorites. George Deathington. George Deathington, that's the one. And um, uh, Abe Lincoln, dead Abe Lincoln, who is, they're both dead. I mean, they're both dead. Are they? Yeah, they're dead. I thought they weren't real people. <laughs> they're actually real people. Yeah, so we'll put, those, we'll put those up here, I guess, for now. I'm going to have to rearrange a lot of this stuff that we This go. was the, have you gone on this one yet? I haven't went over it. No, I'm, I'm trying to arrange as I go here. It's... So after our first ceramic bug, 
first of all, we didn't want, we were like, we were such a new company. We we're like, we're not going to do expensive ceramic handmade mugs. Who's going to buy those? We didn't know. So those sold out. And then John Swedish's next idea was let's do a St. Patty's Day mug. And I'm like, a holiday mug kind of sell well. Like, why would that sell well? Right. We did like 900 of these. These sold out. A thousand of them. They sold out right away. And then we're like, we might, be on, to, we might be on to something there. The Death Wish Larry, the first ever St. Patrick's Day mug. First ever holiday mug. That was the first mug. I, I thought believe. that I, th- I think this was the first ever holiday mug. I think. Oh no. Because this is 2015. No, that was the first one. This is 2015. Yeah. All right. Cause, well, I mean, Valentine's Day comes before St. Patrick's Day. That doesn't make any sense. Am I right? It does. It does. Valentine's Day totally. St. Patrick's Day mug. No, out? this is this is um, that St. Patrick. Right here. Let's start a St. Patrick's uh, right here. He's out. Maybe, maybe my history is, is off. Let's start at St. Patrick's Day. So we got that guy. We got the first ever collaboration we did with Dropkick Murphy, signed by the Dropkick Murphys. Look at that. I'm overall, I'm overall confused right now. I thought that was the first one we did. This is um, uh, last year's St. Patrick's Day, Quarthanok. That's St. Patrick fighting the demon Quarthanok on there. And then, Why are these, oh wait, where's the whoop, second one? Here's the golden ticket. We do have a couple golden tickets. I don't know if you guys have any golden tickets. But we've got a couple golden tickets. We got this golden ticket right here for the first ever Dropkick Murphy. I love that, that gold one. Oh, see, and this is what I'm telling you guys. This lady right here is the reason why we're putting these mugs together, Gail. Hi, Gail. And I am literally using the history, uh, the, the 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 mug history on the page right now. That's yeah, what, what came out first, the St. Patrick's Day mug or the? I mean, what it shows on here is that that came out before Larry. That doesn't make any sense. Valentine's Day does no, I know. happen before St. Patrick's. I thought St. Patty's Day was the first one we ever did. You are wrong. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other. Oh, this purple. We definitely didn't do it. This this is not right. This this history is not. It can't be right. This is the uh, golden ticket of that Quarthanok mug. That beautiful purple. We didn't Gal do says a sh- hello. I, yeah, we didn't do a shot glass any any time during that first run. But that mug came out first before the shot glass. That's what I was explaining. Um, I'm trying to see. Did we do any other? Oh, I know the the St. Patrick's Day that I'm missing. I'm going to dispute the history here. I'm going to say that St. Patrick's Day came out first. I got two St. Patrick's Days here. I got. One of everybody's favorite, the Snake Patrick. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And then our most recent this year collaboration with the Dropkick Murphys again. This was in honor of their song Rose Tattoo, which is amazing. And it was so cool that we were able to do that um, and put that out in collaboration with them. Now, explain to me this, Jeff. What's up? Never mind. They look the same. This one came out before this one? This was the first... Cupid Day? This was the first Cupid. And why does it say 2000? Oh, that's really this 2016. 16, yeah. Damn, we did a lot of mugs. Yeah, and I think this, the reason why I think that this one is the first is because there's only 350 of these, whereas the St. Patrick's would be up to 1,000 because I think with this... Yeah, but we wouldn't have had enough time to make them. We wouldn't have been able to make them in two weeks. Mm. 1,000 of them. I think what happened is the St. Patrick's that came out and we did these in the end of 2015 made, so they had to sell it to stamp. Maybe. That could be the case. So they would have made it in November December. But I could be wrong. This mug is a coveted mug. This is called the Beaster. It was given only to a few people who uh, were integral in getting us our Super Bowl commercial. This one is specifically Mike Brown's mug. But I know a few of you out there, including Gail, has one of these mugs as well. Oh, man. Memory lane. Memory lane. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it all together. Here's, here's crazy. So that black commuter that I showed you guys earlier, we did a red version. Well, why do I have two? Well, because one came out in 2015 and one came out in 2016. Do you remember why? Do you remember why we did this? I don't. I'm, I'm literally asking Kane. I do not remember why. Oh, this is, this is stamp 20, 2016. 
2015, and this is stamped 2016. Yeah, I told you. Same thing as with that. Um, if they do a mug, mm -hmm. they stamp it whatever when they make it. Right. So if that mug's coming out, if we because that was a 2016 we released mug, it, we released in December probably or or January. Right. So but they're they the same. It it's a 2016 December. mug. It's like the car. Like your 2004 Honda came out in 2003. You are right. You are right. Oh, I got something special to show you guys. So I showed you the Bahala Java box that we did in collaboration with St. Jude's. Kale's the best. When we did that, this was the test run, and we did it with the Snape Patrick. There's only one of these. This is the only one. It's Mike Brown's. And it was just to see, you know, can we make this box, you know, and it has, a snake, it has a snake Patrick in it. Um, but can we make it with a, with a, you know, a wood burn on it and then make it really nice so when we actually release this, as a, as of a Hala Java to celebrate St. Jude, um, it came out that nice. So this was, like I said, this is a one of one, only thing, only one in existence. And just in case you guys are wondering, here's Jeff's cup of water. <laughs> it is my cup of water. Um, speaking of Valentine's Day, this was well, last year, this year, last year, this year, last year, this year. The, the, lovers, <laughs> the Lovers of Valdaro. This is based on the iconic skeletons that were found in a lover's embrace. This is the golden ticket. This is the actual one. Um, I'll put those with uh, the, the Valentine's Day ones as well, which this was, I believe, the year before, Death to Us Part. We did a set of this. these. Now, we all, oh, I have the, I have the set. Do you remember how you could get this mug when this came out? I don't. I did say that Deneen actually designed that mug. Yeah, they designed this. It was very intricate. Um, we were trying to do a subscription push, so for the holidays, you can get a subscription. This mug was free. Whoa. Which is like, we probably lost a lot of money on that. Why? Well, it's very expensive to ship these. So if you have one of those mugs, please send $5 to... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What else do we got? Uh, we gotta keep shout. I mean, obviously, you guys shouted uh, Gail out, but the reason why we have all these mugs on display here beautifully is because of Gail sent us all the one of everything, which we were dumb enough not to keep right? uh, in stock because we were just like, oh, they're mugs and people love them and they're for the people. Uh, a couple years in, we're like, man, how cool would it be if we had a whole vault of everything we've ever done? And uh, Gail's like, got you. Got you. So, so crazy. Very, very thankful forever, forever, forever for you, Gail. So here is the first, after that, that red one that Kane just showed you, this is the first one for winter that we ever designed. Look at how intricate that is. That's a John Swedish. That John, is yo, John, come say what up. crazy. Absolutely crazy. It came with an ornament, too. We Which ornament? we do not have in here. We have a Deneen Pottery ornament. We don't have the actual, the actual ornament. But yeah, John, you did design this, right? John yeah. was the main reason we have any mugs ever. He, he's, he's the one that found them, sourced them. It was his idea. We all thought he was effing crazy we're like they're not gonna sell how could you sell a, a, a mug that's like handmade artisan and he's like no they're gonna work and uh she's right it's one of my that that one you just pulled out is one of my favorite mugs yeah if not my favorite with the amount of detail that it's is. so great and it's with so the ornament great. little tiny tim ornament he, yeah he brought an entire community of people together I mean, let's be honest you guys like death wish but you guys are here for the mugs yeah. uh, the other one i love is the um is, uh, I, I'm probably skipping around here. I don't know what you guys are Oh, no, I'm, I'm just doing You're just telling stories. I'm Yo, what up, Allison? Allison saying hi. She works for us. She's the best. Um, she the, makes the best brownies. 100,000 percent. The original, original, damn it. The original matte black uh, sugar crock. Yeah. Yeah, I, like that yeah, I was telling people about that, how rare that is. Oh, it came with the skull? It came with yep. the skull, skull spoon. spoon. And, and, and a little fact, I don't know if anyone knows this, but we were the number one selling skull spoon on Amazon. Because it wasn't our spoon, we it actually wasn't our spoon. we actually bought it. We actually got these. We bought these spoons. They came from we Europe because they were all sold out in America. Yeah. Yep, and then uh, we sold the spoons on Amazon. This guy. So we uh, we took in, um, I think, quite a few thousand, and we sold them, and we became the number one selling spoon Thanks, on Amazon, which was awesome. Bye, guys. Hey, Peace out, dog. So here's a fan favorite. I know you guys have been telling me your, your favorite mugs, and I've seen a couple people talk about this. A couple years ago, we designed this mug right here called our Space Mug. She said, um, this is a Headless Horseman. Here's the Headless Horseman, another, another favorite. Um, the, uh, the Space Mug we designed in congruence of uh, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Apollo. Not knowing that when Thomas actually designed this mug, that we were actually going to go to space. And uh, we did. That's a pack of coffee that was sent to the internet 
Atlantis Space Station right there. And we released two variants. This is the Golden Ticket, NASA Orange um, variant mug of that. And then this was the mug we released for the launch. And this mug actually went down with me to Cape Canaveral and I was holding this mug as our coffee was being launched into space for the first time. It's actually been launched to space twice. If you want to know that story, go to deathwishcoffee.com slash space. Like I said, we uh, love partnering with um, people like Ricky's Ride, St. Jude's Hospital, Dropkick Murphy's. We've also par partnered with the Special Olympics a few times. This was one of our Special Olympic mugs that we did. I think this was the second one we ever did. I the think. run dead was the first one. We did two run deads and then that. So this was the first one. Oh yeah. The run dead, 2016. This was. How cool is that? How cool is that? Second one. And one of the ideas were there were we were trying to find a charity we can get behind where we could use the name Death Wish, um, and Special Olympics is one of the most recognizable logos in the entire world, and New York's one of the top like three chapters in the world. And they were big fans of us, so we like, what better way than to do a whole mug for them, do their event. It was awesome. It was heartwarming. We love those guys. Very, very, very cool. Cool group to be a part of, for sure. Um, and we listen to you guys. Like I said, let us know what you guys want to see on mugs, because we're always looking for new ideas for mugs. And one of those actually was this mug that we released last year on a resounding, um, you know, idea from a lot of you out there, which are Rosie the Riveter mug. Um, and I love that mug. It's so rad. In fact, we've got this giant logo in our in our offices back there, too. We have a lot of our mug logos. Yeah. Um, this is my least favorite mug, the Daddy Bear mug. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> people are like, why did you do a Daddy Bear mug? And I guess, was it you? It was me. Jeff decided to say, oh, Kane's terrified of teddy bears, which isn't true. Sorry to break it to you guys. <laughs> um, then people started sending me teddy bear stuff. Like, I'm actually afraid of teddy bears. So that was a cool rumor that was there for a little while. Uh, so thanks, Jeff. Yep. Take this mug. I know you do. Here's I'm another. For three, what, 900 teddy bears in my office? Yeah, That's yeah. Cool, right? Yeah, I got to find that video again. It actually made me scared of teddy bears. <laughs> so it's true now. Yay. Yes. Full circle. Um, I'll see you guys later. Love you all. Thanks, Kane. Thanks for the support. We love you. Thanks, and uh, another mug um, on our uh, President's Day, July 4th type mugs is this awesome mug, the Uncle Sam. And I know... Um, uh, a couple of you guys have this mug out there, and also uh, one of you has this actually tattooed, which is pretty crazy. Um, so I'll try to put that up here with those. I'm going to really have to kind of rework this even after this. What I'll do is I'll rework all of these shelves, and I'll take a really nice photo and, and share it on our social. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? Let's see. Oh, I know. I know. Speaking of President's Day and, um, you know, July 4th and those types of things, another one was this idea that we released and then we didn't release it. And you guys really wanted it, including one of our community members, Jason Heath, who kept asking, kept asking, kept asking. So it finally came out. And that is the Lady Liberty mug. And this was, the, this was the golden ticket, and this was the actual, because obviously the actual has the same coloring as Lady Liberty herself. Um, so I'll put those up here. Like I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. This is hard. So we showed you, we showed you this guy. This is the Headless Horseman, the one that everybody loves. Everybody loves this. In fact, the two that are probably the most sought after, the ones that I hear everybody always talking about, are the Headless Horseman and the Yeti. Those are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, we'll put this horseman over here. We'll put the Yeti over with the winner. And let's look and see if we can find some other Halloween mugs. Oh, I know. It's always asked, why are mugs left-handed? All of our mugs, you know, like this is another Halloween mug we did, or this was like a Thanksgiving Day mug, um, the Reaper. But why are they left-handed? And Deneen actually explains that. Again, tune in on Monday for that refuel, and you can find out. But for the first time ever, we did 
a dual-sided mug last year. And this is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. On one side, it's poor Dr. Jekyll with Hyde lurking in the mirror. And on the other side, the monster is free and Dr. Jekyll is, has, been, has been left in there. But as you can see, that one's the only one with the double side. Put that over here. Oh my God. I think I've made more of a mess than I was planning to. And you guys have stuck with me for 45 minutes. Um, I'm going to finish this up and really make it look nice and take a nice photo so you guys can all see it. We'll share it on our socials. Let us know always what mugs you're looking for, what colors you want, and know that our brand new mug is right around the corner. Now we just released the golden ticket of the barrel brand mug. And if you missed that, it's right here. That's that golden ticket. Now this actual mug release, the mug will look exactly like this. It'll just be in a different color because this was the golden ticket. This will be the last mug that I'll put in the case because it's our newest mug this year. And um, that real mug will be coming out very soon. So make sure you subscribe to our newsletter that comes out every Thursday. We also have a text list, which you can find all the details for that on our website. And you also want to su subscribe to our scoop, which is our Monday newsletter, deathwishcoffee.com, the scoop. You'll get all of our content and uh, also maybe some sneak peeks and surprises and fun. I hope you guys had fun. Um, this is our normal Wednesday live where I try to tell you guys some fun stuff happening at HQ. I thought there was nothing more fun than trying to make sense of this mug case, and I made a little sense thanks to the help of you guys. I think I made more of a mess than I wanted to, though. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to work on fixing this, and uh, hopefully the results will be awesome for you guys. Have a wonderful Wednesday. As always, stay caffeinated and keep your mugs up. Goodbye, everybody.